Hi, everyone. It's Elliot and Todd. While you're waiting for our next full episode, we wanted to share some bar snacks with you. What are bar snacks, you ask? Well, we're sitting at the bar with a few friends to discuss some light, snackable design and pop culture topics for you, the listener. So join us and a few of our friends as we share our snacks with you. Hey friends, thanks for joining part three of our conversation with the design legend, Terry Marks. Go back and listen to parts one and two if you haven't done that yet. And we're working on season three as we speak. So get ready for some good stuff with that. Let's get back into it. Speaking of, uh, speaking of getting the clap, Elliot, you want me to go to the next question then? Yeah, that was, okay, that was an abrupt segue, but sure. Okay. <laughs> I always thought it was pronounced Seguya. Well, I, I sh okay, I'm still workshopping that. I was trying to get you, you know, in connection with the clap, but I guess I didn't think it through. <laughs> Wasn't that the name of your band? You tried to give me the clap before, and, know, and you haven't know, succeeded yeah, yet. Yeah, I know. Gosh, I should stop drinking right before we start recording, shouldn't I? No, you should start drinking when or, we or drink start more. recording. Oh, like, okay, completely. okay, okay. Um, speaking of. Um, Terry, what is the last thing that you bought based on an ad or the packaging? This is too obvious. It, um, there's a bottle of wine. Yeah. 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 Well, you do a lot of, uh, wine label design. And I've, I've branding, done some, you... yeah. Uh, yeah. Websites, labels, branding stuff. Yeah. And, and, uh, and even you, an expert in that industry are still buying wine by the labels, huh? Uh, yeah, aren't, no, none of us. I mean, we all work in a visual medium. Uh, right. You don't want to buy stuff that's ugly. I mean, sometimes it's, you know, I don't care. It's glue. I don't, but still you go, <laughs> wow, they really missed an opportunity. When you were young, you'd go, I want to redesign that. And now it's like, well, I don't care, but yeah. boy, that's bad. And sometimes yeah. bad is like, wow, that's so bad. That's cool. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. It's, it's unknowingly yeah. bad. Yeah. It's naive. Yeah. Right. But yeah, it's, it's almost like you say, well, I don't want to sponsor ugly. Like me exchanging money for this means I'm endorsing ugly. Oh, wow. That's right. I'm, I'm glad my parents didn't think that way or I wouldn't be here today. Yeah. <laughs> well, can I, at the, at the risk of losing a potential sponsorship, can I name names in terms of a label that I deplore for a, oh, a yeah. product that's actually decent? Yeah. Tito's Vodka. Oh, I don't get it's it. so bad. That one's yeah. so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it drives me crazy. It looks like someone makes it in a bathtub, like an old horse trough in their garage or something. Like, you know, the one Todd has in his garage. That's right. Like, if it were Todd's vodka, I'd be like, yeah, yeah I get it, you know, but it's this guy Tito, I mean. And somebody said I had a blind nephew who can design the label, and they did. Yeah, 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 with his feet. <laughs> Uh, a good one, then. Speaking of drinks, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go get another one. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, tell us about your favorite drink, Terry. We'll see if the bartender can make it for you. We'll flag him down. So is it a, is it a wine drink? Is it a spritzer? Like, what are you, what's, what's your, what's your, what's your drink of choice? Is Mr. Bartles and Mr. James around? <laughs> So yes. that's, I guess I right. like. Hello, Ernest and Julio. <laughs> yeah. Um, is a Mr. Four or a Mr. Loco there? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one word. It's one word to rule them all. It's oh. Zima. Um, oh, yes. No, it would be, uh, I'd probably get a yeah. Manhattan with uh, bourbon rye. Oh, you're yeah. classic. You're so you're classy. He is classy. I know. I put the ass in classy, Elliot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, you can wiggle it on over to the bar, and you can <laughs> buy a drink for yourself and a couple for your two best what friends. What do you guys Todd drink, and Elliot? Yeah. How about that? That's. I, we're we're drinking whatever you buy us, Terry. I love I Three love fuzzy navels coming too. up. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And, and get the cocktails too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. See, I, I drink an old-fashioned. you got a Manhattan. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, Terry, we'll sit around and talk about the stock market and our polo ponies and stuff Only if like the that. stock market is a place you can buy steaks, you know? Oh, that would be a great, yeah. Why, why is not their meat market called that? 
So, oh, well, speaking of the stock market, um, and this might be too long uh, for this podcast episode, Terry, we might need to invite you back. I would at some point in time, and we'll tease the audience, let's talk about the time when you were stock photography famous at some point. Oh, man. I forgot about that. That's a whole world unto itself. It is. But it's an amazing story. One day oh, long okay. ago, different kind of stock market. We, we definitely will. Yeah. We definitely will tease that and uh, give our listeners a chance to search all of their stock accounts for pictures of Terry. For for a short time, That's right. I was the yeah. world's most used, comfortably Asian male person. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, yeah. he was. was nuts. He was. He was. You're you're very very comfortable with that. What's uncomfortably Asian? Uh, probably anything that smacks of, I don't know, stereotype and racism. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> I didn't wear the hat Just taking a wild stab. Like yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> you know, not being an expert on the subject. Um, okay, that's... Yeah, yeah. Now I know. Well, yeah. So, Todd, all those funny drawings you've been doing and sharing with me, you're going to have to stop. Yeah, the, the drawing you did of me to, to pimp the next podcast with me <laughs> in it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, the caricature That's of Terry. Not funny. We no, need to no. revisit that. Yeah. <laughs> not funny at all. Okay, funny, but we can't no, share it with sir. anybody. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Censored. That Censored. Well, you know what the good news is? We can't put it in a comic book, but we can put it in a magazine if we choose to start with. That's the good news. All right, I've got a question. So, Terry, what's the what's your most favorite place that you've had an opportunity to visit? Oh, to... Aside from the bar, of course. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so, worldwide. Yeah, worldwide. You know, um, I, I've had an opportunity to... I mean, unless you've been to, like, other planets and shit, and that'd well, be kind of Well, if we're cool. going to go that deep, or, it, we're going to need more yeah. time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or, or more mushrooms. Living in the multiverse... Um, no, I, I've been lucky. I, I've been able to do some travel. The first <laughs> time I traveled to Europe, you're going to laugh at this, is because my college football team played three games on the French Riviera. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What kind of were, were they like? Was it like badminton and lawn darts and volleyball, or yeah, was it yeah, football? Were they, it was yeah, American well, football. It was croquet. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It was croquet. it was nuts. Okay. All right. And uh, I mean, <laughs> we played a team called the Paris Blue Angels, and some of these guys were like serious athletes. I think a couple of them went to the Olympics and stuff. But you know, it was wow. France. So we're like, you know, before the game, we see them. They're like smoking and having a beer. <laughs> we're like, oh man. <laughs> This is different. <laughs> and the one cool thing is, you, you know how in um, uh, Europe they used to have the big stone litho uh, posters advertising everything. Yeah, it could yeah, be a pack yeah. of cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. six by ten feet, right? And this great thing. They had these huge oversized posters with like a guy in a football helmet running and words I couldn't quite decipher at the time. And so it was like, wow, this is a thing. And uh, it, it was a blast, but probably wasn't my favorite because I was with, you know, what, 60 sweaty meatheads and, you know, I among them. Although I did get interviewed on CNN and they asked me a question and I just punted so bad. And it was on national TV, and I just sounded <laughs> like the dumbest guy in the world. In France, in, in, in France, France. Like, like French CNN or Euro no. CNN or whatever. CNN was, was following this, no? us like, uh, on this trip. It was bizarre. But getting back to the actual <laughs> answer, I'm going to say um, Cuba was cool, but I really, I'm going to go with Bali, just because it's so oh, yeah. different. Mm. Um, yes, you have to wear long sleeve shirts at night because they haven't quite gotten their arms around that whole. Um, oh, I'm forgetting the name of the disease. M Malaria. Malaria. That little bugaboo. Yeah. Is it the dreaded tsetse fly? Well, they'll, or, they'll bite yeah. you anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Even oh. there. Mm. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Todd. <laughs> okay. So the, the, the delay, the uh, delay with Todd was amazing. I know, yeah. <laughs> uh, I almost farted too. That was. Good. 
<laughs> that, would have I would have less that, embarrassing. I would have had to have dropped the mic, have, and you know, I don't know if we would have <laughs> yeah, the, taken it. It's the, not the, that expensive. The two listeners we have yeah. would have, uh, yeah, Terry, that yeah would have finally hung it up, hung up their spurs, so and said, brilliant. "Forget this podcast subscription thing." Yeah. Have Have you been to uh, Indonesia or weird places in Southeast Asia where you ride on motorcycles in packs of a hundred with other <laughs> other yeah, people on motorcycles, yeah. and there's a family of five? on a scooter carrying chickens and luggage you're like this is amazing yeah yeah it's cool uh and you find those great places uh local places for uh food uh i have a an office in kuala lumpur so i've been there a couple times and it's great just to find those wonderful local places there. i'm gonna have to clean out my ear for a second you said kuala lumpur <laughs> yes tell me That's about in this. malaysia Oh, okay. <laughs> I wanted to make sure you knew. Terry was reaching behind him to grab a globe off the shelf. Well, it's a globe, but it's actually just a bar. The top lifts up. It's not accurate. Yeah. I was I was reaching to grab a bourbon off the bar. Off the globe. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. 